Hi, we're back and we want to talk more about preventing Alzheimer's and how it relates to the microbiome. Yeah, we've talked about the microbiome in the past and we've been quite fascinated with what we've been hearing lately about the link they're seeing between the microbiome and Alzheimer's. It's surprising to me. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the rates of Alzheimer, Alzheimer's is continuing to rise. Yeah, it's, it's going up. Dramatically rise. Yeah, and, and there's no meaningful treatment. And in a way, could we say that's a good sign? Because it means we need to focus on prevention. And what's great is that the same things that help us prevent Alzheimer's help us prevent stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart attack. <laughs> it keeps us healthy. Right. It's basically keeps the infl inflammation down and eat a lot of high fiber foods. But just to fill it out a little bit, the um, again, the microbiome, that refers to all the microbes in our gut. And gosh, there's a lot of them there. We're talking trillions. I heard someone say the other day, it, it, in one gram of our poop, there are more bacteria than there are stars in the known universe. That is amazing. We got a lot of bacteria in us. Yeah. And they're beginning to see the beneficial role that all this bacteria plays in our, in our health. And so we hear about the good bacteria, the bad bacteria. And what we're seeing is that about 99% of the bacteria in a healthy gut is all beneficial. Well, well there, there's what they call um, symbiotic and commensal. The symbiotic are the really beneficial ones. They're making stuff that's good for us. The commensals are just kind of neutral. They're kind of there. And I'm guessing they probably have an important role and we haven't discovered that yet. Yeah, so we're say saying, so. oh, they're just kind of there. <laughs> but nature doesn't seem to do things without a reason. So I'm guessing they're there for a reason. And so there's actually less than 1% that are not beneficial. And I think one of the common experiences of that when the microbiome gets out of balance is what we call candida. I mean, candida is, is present in everybody's microbiome, but when the microbiome is balanced, there's no problem. But when there's a disruption to the microbiome, then there's an overgrowth of candida and it messes us up in lots of ways. So it's about keeping that microbiome in balance and healthy. And what, did you have something to say? I was just going to say, how do we do that? <laughs> so basically, um, we want to keep the infl inflammation down. And the most impactful thing in terms of inflammation is what we eat. So we want to avoid the inflammatory foods and eat the anti-inflammatory foods. So what are the inflammatory foods? Meat, alcohol, sugar, free oils, most of them. Um, any processed food of any kind. Those are the main ones. Yeah, those are the biggies. And what are the anti-inflammatory foods? Oh, and dairy. Foods? I forgot dairy. Oh, yeah. Dairy Dairy is yeah. major as an inflammatory food. Anti-inflammatory are whole food, plant-based, what we've been living and preaching forever to everyone because it makes such a difference in our overall health. And now they're finally recognizing in the health and plasticity of the brain, which is so important as we age. Yeah, so the anti-inflammatories would be um, fruits and vegetables, beans, grains, nuts and seeds, um, uh, healthy fats, avocado, flax, and then starchy veggies. Yeah. They're really high in fiber and good yeah. for us. Yeah. So that's an important thing that they're seeing too about keeping their microbiome healthy is that the microbiome, these bacteria, these microbes, because there's more than just bacteria in there, 
Um, they live on fiber. That's their food. So that's why these high fiber foods, this whole food plant-based diet, really supports maintaining the health and the balance of the beneficial microbes in our body. So um, we often hear a term now called prebiotics. And when I first heard that, I thought, what in the world is that? And what that is, it's just fiber. It's the food. It, prebiotic is the food to feed the, 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 the biota, the biotics. Prebiotics is fiber, forms of fiber. And that helps to feed the microbiota, the, the microbes in our gut. And probiotics, we've heard that for quite a while. Yeah. Those are the actual organisms. So probiotics, when we take probiotics, we are actually kind of inoculating our gut with a, a population of healthy beneficial microbes. So there's a place for prebiotics and probiotics if we're trying to restore the health of the gut. But basically it seems that if we eat a whole food plant-based diet, because it's anti-inflammatory, because it's high fiber, because it has a high nutrient density, the microbiome seem to take care of themselves. What we need to avoid are the things that disrupt that microbiota, one of them being toxins, herbicides, pesticides, and particularly Roundup. Yeah, so we want to eat organic because that really supports the microbiome. And we want to keep our gut healthy. We don't want a lot of leaky gut syndrome that comes from inflammatory foods and yeah. toxins. Yeah, so there's, there's more and more interest in the scientific community these days, apparently, about the role of, of well, Roundup. There's been some concern about GMOs. It's kind of an odd thing that we're doing, playing with the genetics of our food. Um, but the scientific community now is beginning to see the greatest danger of GMOs may not be the GMO food itself as much as all the Roundup that is sprayed on them in order to kill the weeds in the fields because these residues come into the body and that disrupts the microbiota, the, the, the bacteria in our guts. These are toxins. Roundup is a toxin. We don't want it in our toxin. body. Yeah. You know, the most important thing we must not forget to mention, which we're always saying is you want two large servings of dark leafy greens. They're very high in fiber, great for the microbiome, but they're very, very high in nutrient per calorie. So that gives us a lot of the foundation of strong nutrient that we need for the body to regenerate. Yeah, so that in a nutshell is the direction that seems to be the best treatment. Well, it's not a treatment. The best way to prevent Alzheimer's. Prevent. Yeah. yeah, because um, these, um, the whole food plant-based approach is giving the microbiota what it needs. And if we stay whole food plant-based and add organic to that definition, we're leaving out the process, the high fat, the sugar. Sugar is another thing that disturbs the microbiota. We need sugar, our cells. I mean, that's how we get energy, but refined sugar, putting refined sugar into our gut, not a good idea. We want to put the complex carbohydrates in that our microbiota break down into the forms of sugar that we use best for fuel and energy. And they're finding also that artificial sweeteners are really deadly for the microbiome and for leaky gut syndrome. So don't use those. They're not great. Yeah. So along with the whole food plant-based diet, they're recommending sleep, sleep, lack of sleep can uh, disrupt the microbiome. Um, stress tends to disrupt the microbiome. So a good stress management system of some type, um, meditation and, and exercise is good because that's kind of anti-stress. That's a good form of stress management as well, exercise and walking and that. Um, is there anything else? 
I just want to share about the recipe. Okay. So we've made kimchi before, and we made it again yesterday. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's just a light version of kimchi, you know, not tons of hot, 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 but very tasty. And this particular kimchi or the sauerkraut that you make at home is a probiotic. It really supports the microbiome. So we'll put a link to the recipe. There are two on the website for kimchi. Have a look and see what you prefer. What I added to this one that isn't in the recipe are some thin ginger slices that I dice quite fine. I just like kind of the zing, the zing that ginger gives it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, well, that's it for now. And uh, see you next see time. You all the best. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.